I'm going to start this quick sketch without the preliminary pencil drawing. I'm using oil pastel to lightly sketch out my model. I'm looking at my reference photo and I'm outlining the main forms of the model. I'm starting with a simple outline. I'm starting at the very top of the page because I want her to fill the page since the figure is vertical. I don't want it to take too little room on the page, so I'm going to start pretty high and go as far down as I can. I'll have to cut her off at some point, but uh, it's okay. I think it will work itself out, the composition, I mean. I'm not pressing very hard on the pastels yet, and I'm not drawing any details. I'm going to do details to a certain extent with watercolor, and then I'm going to do another pass with pastel. And another thing I'm going to do is uh, pick up white oil pastels and I'm going to use it to preserve my whites. So just spend a couple seconds to do that. And I also have this kind of cobalt blue oil pastels. I'm squinting and I'm going to apply it to the darkest spots on the model. I saw that in uh, Toulouse Lautrec paintings and it looked pretty neat. So I'm going to do that. And now we can start painting. I'm using a Scarlet Lake for the shadow side and I'm mixing it with um, Cobalt Purple. It gives It neutralizes it a little bit and gives me nice color for the shadows. And for the light side, I'm going to use New Gamboge, just drop it in where the light hits the face and her shoulder. And also I'm going to use a mixture of um, French ultramarine with cascade green. It's my new favorite color and I'm going to vary the amount of ultramarine and green in the mix so I can get a nice varied tone. And you can see watercolor is seeping into that fresh wash that I put down on the arm, but it's fine because that's my shadow side and I really do want watercolor to run. I want the sketch to be very expressive, very free. I'm going to use quite a bit of splattering. I am going to have a hard edge on the lid side on my left where I'm applying Scarlet Lake right now. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to drop a little more color on the skirt and I'm trying to keep it a little cooler in the shadows. So I'm using a little more French ultramarine in the folds of the fabric. And on my right side of the figure, I want a soft shadow. So I'm, I'm spraying water and I'm letting the paint run so there's no hard edge there because it's in shadow. And as I'm painting, I do realize that it's almost impossible to get the final tonal range with watercolor at the first pass because everything's wet and colors just blend together. So I'm basically working on my lights and my midtones, and then you will see how I will add darkest darks. It will be a second pass. So now I'm going to pick up my oil pastels again and I'm squinting and I'm adding the darkest areas on the figure that squinting when looking at the model really helps me to see.
once that's done, I'm going to pick up a really concentrated mixture of ultramarine violet and I'm going to soften all those areas that I just added oil pastels to, the darkest accents on the figure, to soften them and to make them look more interesting, more varied. And after that the sketch is done, I'm going to sign it and let's look at the final result.